All right, so we just have a normal US penny here made out of copper on the exterior. And we're gonna see what happens when we put it in a solution of sodium zincate. We made this solution of sodium zincate uh, using water and sodium hydroxide, which is a strong base, and zinc metal. That's the gray stuff you see floating around here. And it's a little bit hot. I just took it off the hot plate. So I'm just stirring it around. And so sodium hydroxide and zinc metal react uh, slowly and at elevated temperatures to make sodium zincate. What's gonna happen is the copper is going to get displaced by the zinc that's in solution because this is a galvanic displacement reaction and zinc is more reactive than copper. In other words, copper is more noble. So let's take it out of the solution. And just rinse it a bit. With water. Oops. So you can see the color has changed. It's a little bit silvery. That's because the zinc has plated on the copper. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna see what happens when we heat this up. And so we're gonna take a propane torch, just gently heat this. Cool up down the water. Wash it off again so I can show you. And so you can see now it says brass color. And indeed, we've made brass. It's a nice golden color. Um, what has happened is the zinc that we plated on top of the copper reacted with the copper that was underneath. Um, and once heated, the zinc actually melted, formed a zinc copper alloy, which is brass. And so that's a way you can change a penny from copper color to silvery to brass.